bells of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. What's going on, YouTube? Um, back here with you, uh, Big Rig Vaping. Um, Merry Christmas, guys. I uh, hope everybody's having a nice Christmas. Uh, I decided I'm going to start doing uh, kind of like just a vlog, you know, a recap of the week. Um, we'll start doing that uh, on or about on the weekend, like Friday or Saturday, where uh, I just vape a little bit with you, let you know what we reviewed this week, um, what juice I was vaping on, things like that. As you can see, I'm not in the truck today. Um, I'm spending Christmas with my kids. Uh, so they live in Colorado. So I'm here in Colorado uh, in a hotel room uh, in the town where they live. And I got a few minutes. They're, they're actually doing Christmas over at their grandmother's. So I got a chance to be with you guys for a little bit. Let's have a vape real quick. Oh, yeah, that hit the spot. All right, what have we done this week? Well, you know, we had uh, the introduction video. I'm going to start doing, uh, I'm going to start doing at least one review a week. I'm going to review something. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be. It might be a device, uh, a mod. It, it might be an atomizer. Uh, it might be some accessories. Uh, and you might luck up and get two, but I'm definitely going to do at least one, probably about Monday or Tuesday of every week. Uh, one, you know, so you guys can start looking out for that. Um, also, uh, I think, and we're also going to do this log, kind of wrap up the week. Uh, and what we're going to do is, on the vlog, we're going to start talking about uh, some advocacy things if we need to be getting into that. Whatever touches the button. Uh, you know, what juices are you vaping on this week? I had somebody send me an email. Hey, what, what juice are you vaping out of that atomizer? Uh, what Or that tank or, you know, whatever. Uh, we're going to get into that. Uh, that's that's what the vlog's for. Uh, I'm going to go over some juices where you can get them. How much are they? Uh, and I'll put um, descriptions, of course, links below. Uh, I want everybody to make sure you, you know, share the word. Help the channel uh, grow a little bit. Um, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Once I get uh, probably a 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give something away. I'm not sure what I'm going to give away yet. I'm thinking on it. Uh, but it's going to be something nice. It'll either be a device or it'll be a, an atomizer or it might be both. So we're going to figure something out. Uh, I don't get free things. Um nobody pays me to do this i do this out of the kindness of my heart i buy all my equipment all my juice myself uh i do this to help you guys uh keep informed about things and to well you know uh let you know my take on things um so let's see let's see what we got today what are we vaping on this week well the first start of the week we did a review on uh, a nice little tank setup, uh, the Velocity tank. Uh, if you missed that video, go check it out. Um, but, you know, good little tank uh, for a tank. Um, what was I vaping in that? Well, I started vaping uh, this delicious juice of the first part of the week. First part of last week, I'm sorry. It's called Lockjaw. Uh, I bought it at a brick and mortar store. I'm pulling out my tablet, so pardon me. It's uh, Vaporcraft. Uh, I bought uh, a good size. I think it was a 30 mil bottle. And I want to say, no, it was a 60 mil bottle. I'm sorry. 60 mil bottle. I paid 30 bucks for it. What is Lockjaw? Well, JRV Lockjaw uh, is... A juice pre-steeped, ready to go. You can find it at Vaporcraft. I'll put the links in the description. It's a bubble gum. The most delicious bubble gum I have ever put in my mouth hole. Uh, it's like a really sweet 
bazooka gum. You, you remember when you went to when you were a kid uh, and you used to go to the convenience store and get little pieces of bubble gum and oh, just that nostalgia. Um, it just bring, brought me back to my childhood of going up to the Seven Eleven and getting an icy and a handful of you know nickel bubble gum and putting in a little bitty bag and coming home. My mom would flip out because I bought a bunch of bubble gum. Love it. Uh, you can get this, like I said, at Vapor Craft. Uh, I'll put a link below. Um, 30 mil bottle for, like I said, uh, I'm sorry, 60 mil bottle for 30 bucks. And apparently they have it in a variety of nic nicotine strengths from zero up to nine. So if you want something stronger than that, you're not going to get it here. Uh, also, what did I get? Um, I got uh, e-liquid, we vaped on it a little bit, called Day Spa. Day Spa, like I was telling you guys before, is a cucumber spearmint. I found it at uh, SWMO, Southwest Missouri Vapors. Um, you can Google it. Uh, I'll put links in the description. I did look at their website, and I couldn't find Day Spa. Um, maybe it's an in-house juice, or maybe they took it off. I'm not sure. You can give them a call um, and let them know, but it's a 6040, I believe. Um, and it was reasonably par priced. I want to say I got a really big bottle. I want to say it was a 60 mil bottle I got. Oh. I tried to do the you know some Google work on that and try to find a good price for you. But I, I want to say it was 25 bucks. You know, I mean, not a bad price for a big bottle of e-liquid. Um, and it's good. Uh, is it the best? No, it's not the best. Um, but it's good. Okay. Uh, after you vape it for a couple, or me, after I vape it for a couple of days, I, it's, it starts to get too much. It almost, almost takes on a metal taste after a couple of days. Uh, but for the first couple of days, it's a real good, delightful vape. Um, what else did we vape on? Oh, well, this right here. Um, this. This is a complex e-liquid. <clears throat> this is called Beard Venom. Beard Venom. What is Beard Venom? Let me, let me do a little, as Grim Green would say, some Google Foo. And let me see if I can look up Beard Venom for you. Give me just one second, okay? Okay, so Beard Venom, I went to the website here for them. Uh, Beard Venom by Smoky Barrel Vapor, Inc. Um, Smoky Barrel is a shop uh, that I found in Middleburg, Florida, little bitty town, uh, you know, decent little shop, nice little variety. Um, love the shop. Went in there and it was nice oak barrels uh, th stacked up for their little juice bar and, you know, the glass cases, really woody, earthy, uh, almost like a whiskey. I felt, I felt like I walked in a, a whiskey distillery's gift shop. Uh, it was just really nice interior. Very helpful people. Uh, what is Beard Venom? Uh, beard Venom is basically, um, let's see what it says. Beard Venom is not like any other e-liquid I've tried. The rich raisin coconut tobacco. Now, I don't like any of those flavors by themselves, but for some reason, in this e-liquid, I like it. I don't know why. It maybe it's it's almost like the raisin takes away some of the tobacco, which I don't like to, tobacco vapes, uh, and the tobacco complements the coconut in some weird kind of strange way. But it's a very oh shit. Let me get some of that out of there. It's a very dark complex e-liquid um very good very good vape um, i was very 
impressed with it, to be honest with you. Um, I'm looking on the website here, and I don't see a price for Beard Venom. Um, I don't know why. Um, huh. I don't know. Let's go to their official website. Let's, let's see. Um, it's going to make me put my date of birth and everything in. Jeez. <clears throat> okay, so apparently um, it comes in multiple PG-VG ratios. Uh, 20 bucks for a 30 ml bottle of Beard Venom by Smoky Barrel. Um, no, it only comes... In in eighty twenty max VG, um, which is fine. That's what I do anyway because I drip, for the most part. Um, and I'll put a link down below, of course, where you can get beard venom. <clears throat> so that that's the three e liquids that I've been vaping on this week. Uh, and like I said, I will make sure to put the links in the descriptions below. Um, D, what are you vaping on? What do you, what do you got there? Oh, this is this is my Segeli, my Segeli 150 with temperature control. Uh, I'm going to do a review on this. Uh, love this little box mod. Uh, love it. Uh, what kind of Addy we got here? We have got the Lush by Wotofo. This is probably... Now, I haven't tried the Sapor. I saw a review by Grim Green where he loves the Sapor. And I'm going to get one um, just to do a review for you guys on it and tell you what I think about it. Um, but the Lush, the Lush is nice. It's got these air air channels. I don't know if you can see them. Let me get, see how they're kind of cut at an angle? And we'll, I'll, I'm going to do a review on that. But it kind of gives it a little cyclone effect inside. Um, love the vapor as you can see it's just chucking the vapor uh, I've tried a couple different builds in this and what I've got in here now is a .3 ohm Clapton build and you can see it there let me try to get in a little bit better um uh, I may not focus that close, but you can see blowing the vapor. I mean, let's juice it up a minute. <coughs> oh yeah, just violent. It's angry. It's angry. Yeah, nice violent vapor coming out of that clapped and coil. You know, I don't think I can put a bigger coil in this thing. This is a six wrap uh, Clapton coil. Uh, I believe I did this on a 2.5 millimeter, or maybe I did it on a three, but I can't remember. Um, <clears throat> beautiful vapor. I just, I mean, as you can see, it hits like a beast every time. Um, and that, that beard venom, oh, that's some good stuff. Some good stuff. Um, I couldn't find any Christmas vapes, the Christmas e-liquids to review for you guys. Um, and I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to do that. But for some reason, I couldn't find any. Uh, somebody said they, they had an eggnog that they found somewhere. Somebody else said there was a candy cane they found somewhere. I actually had a candy cane uh, e-liquid at one point. Um, but this was several months back. I don't remember anything about it other than it tasted really good. I don't remember where I got it, so we're not going to review that. Um, but yeah, that's what, I, that's what we're doing today. Hanging out in a hotel room, spending a little time with you guys. Uh, my kids will be coming back here in a couple hours. Um, so, you know, spend a little Christmas with you guys. Um, loving the response I'm getting from the channel so far. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you guys are just, uh, blowing up my email. Hey, uh, D, can you do this? Hey, can you review this? If you guys have any suggestions for me, put it in the comments. 
I, I promise you, I'll answer your comments just as soon as humanly possible. Uh, most comments I answer almost instantly. Uh, if I'm not driving, my phone's in my hand. Uh, so I will, I get, promise you, I will answer your comments. If you want to shoot me an email, if you got an idea, shoot me an email. Um, please do that. Um, BigRigVaping at gmail.com. Links below. Uh, and share, you know, share the video. Hey, man, uh, you know, your fellow buddy, doesn't have to be a truck driver, could just be a buddy that you know. <clears throat> Shoot him the video. Say, hey, man, check this out. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. It's right there, right there. It might be up there. You don't know. It, it's there somewhere. You'll see it, I'm sure. I digress. All right. So what are we doing? Uh, well, you see, Gator's over there on the bed. That's my boxer. He's my traveling buddy. Okay. <clears throat> he doesn't know why I'm talking to my phone. He thinks I'm crazy. So that's that. We're, Jesus, we're vaping out the hotel room. I hope the fire alarms don't go off. Love, love, love Beard Venom. <clears throat> um, what else we got for you? I got some nice stuff coming uh, in the mail. Uh, what I do is when I find things that I like, if I find something in a shop, I'll buy it. But I, I watch reviews from all kind of guys. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> Get a little of the beverage. <clears throat> Crown and Coke. Can't go wrong. Um, but, um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but if I see something on a review, like if, uh, Pivasario, uh, Grim Green, uh, Vaping with Twisted, <clears throat> any of those guys, um, you know, you know, Vaping Greek, uh, some of those guys, a lot of those guys I really look up to, um, Ruby Roo, she's a sweetheart of a person. I'd love to meet her in person. Just give her a big old hug. You know, she, she's just really sweet and kind and always comes at you with a positive outlook. Um, vaping Cookie, uh, she's helped me out more than I can think about. <clears throat> um, she's kind of taken a sabbatical from YouTube, I guess. Uh, family stuff and whatnot, but hopefully she'll be back out here soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, um, and if I see something, some of these guys are reviewed and they give it a big thumbs up, I order it. And when I get back home, I, I usually come out here on the road for like three weeks, and then I get back home, and uh, I got a vape mail. Yeah. So that's what it is. Uh, got some reviews coming this week of some stuff that I've got. I'm going to review everything I put my hands on. Um, so never fear if, you know, Big D is here. If if I'm vaping it, you're going to know about it. You're going to know what I think about it, my honest opinion about it, <clears throat> and would I buy one again if I lost it. And uh, this Lush by Wotofo. You'll see the video. But, uh, yeah, I like it. Um, get rid of some of that. I'm just I'm vaping everybody out in here. Vaping like a beast up here. <clears throat> yep, so that's what I got for you guys this week. Uh, covered some e-juice. You know, covered some shops. Um, the Southwest Missouri Vapor, you can get a truck in there. Uh, the, they have two locations. One location I had did not visit, but the other location you can call find out which location but one of the locations has a big old dirt parking lot you can get a semi in there and spin it around just nice they're right there next to it great it's a great place great place um the other two <clears throat> well not so easy um the the middleburg the smoky barrel uh in middleburg florida 
unfortunately it's a small parking lot they kind of share a little mini strip mall with like three different shops there it's a small parking lot can't get in it um the other one i went to vape craft or vapor craft vapor craft vapor craft um they are in orange park florida located across from the orange park mall um across the street um they sit on wells road wells road goes uh Splits on the one side, you get vapor craft, the other side, there's the mall, <clears throat> and it's pretty far um, down enough Wells Road so you can get, pull your semi back in the, in the back there where the mall is and walk across the street. So it's within, you know, within walking distance. Uh, so you can get to that one fairly decent. And if you visit some of these places, guys, tell them, hey, Big D from Big Rig Vapors did a review on you, and this is what he said. Uh, check them out, will you? Uh, support your local brick and mortar. Um, we need more. We need more of these guys. You know, um, <clears throat> we need more of these guys in advocacy. You know, standing up for our vape rights. Um, I know several people who have stopped smoking by using these things. Um, I haven't smoked in 15 years. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to quit um, using a mixture of the patch and gum. And they say you're not supposed to do that. But that's the only way I could quit. They didn't have this. Um, a few years back, uh, I started vaping um, because I you know, just had a sheer boredom. But I, I, I started vaping zero, Nick. Um, and then I didn't get enough throat hit for me. Um, and a little bit of nicotine seems to bring out some of the flavors a little bit better. I do it, as you can see, I'm a pretty big dude. So I drive down the semi or down the road in the semi all the time and I can either chew on bubble gum all day or I can vape it for zero calories. So she's using the old noodle there, I think. Um, you know, and it... I'm not saying everybody should vape just for kicks, but that's what I do, okay? I vape just for kicks. Um, I haven't touched a cigarette, like I said, in years. <clears throat> My son, on the other hand, started dipping, then was smoking, and I'm like, dude, you know, you're killing yourself, man. You know, you're at, the, at the time, he was 18 years old, uh, and I, I got him into vaping. He now works at a vape shop. Uh, so he's he's getting his vape knowledge on learning quite a bit he's actually starting to school the old man here a little bit uh very proud of him so yeah um get into the advocacy you know send send letters off to your congressman to your senators on both the state and the federal level <clears throat> flood their inboxes you know pick up the phone every once in a while and say hey you know what's up with this vape thing you know why are you uh Marco Rubio just sent him an email. He happens to be the elected official for the area of Florida that I live in. And, uh, of course, he's, you know, doing the whole presidency thing. So I sent him a nice little email. And he answered me back um, and said, you know, I understand your concerns about tobacco laws. And I said, no, 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 it's not tobacco laws I'm concerned with. The vape laws is different. Two, let's let's distinguish the two, okay? It's two different things. Vaping ain't got nothing to do with tobacco. It's totally different, all right? Um, yeah, the nic some of the nicotine comes is derivative from tobacco, but they are also now using synthetic synthetic nicotine that's never seen a tobacco leaf at all in its in its existence. Two different things. That being said, Merry Christmas, guys. Um, I'll get a, another video out to you the first of the week. Uh, don't forget, if you like what you hear, hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to do uh, videos on a regular basis, uh, doing a lot more videos, um, and we're going to 
get some new stuff as it comes out. I've got some stuff that I'm using now. Some of it's some stuff that's already been reviewed, but I like to go into a little more depth sometimes than some other guys. Not that they're bad or anything, but uh, some people just want to touch on the basics of it. Some people go more in depth than I care to go. Um, but yeah, and uh, go check out the other the other videos, my videos. Go check out everybody's videos. Uh, go check out Grim Green and Vaping with Vaping with Twisted 420 and Pivasario and Vaping Greek. Um, Rip Trippers. Uh, go go check out some of these guys. Ruby Roo. Go, go you know go patronize their pages as well. Uh, let's keep vaping alive. Let's uh, keep vaping by all means. Um, and uh, you know as always, guys, be careful out there. Keep it shiny side up, and please, vape on.